Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm D-Gray and today we continue our entry level 2 Megabase where we in the last episode just got our mall up and running. Now some of you can probably see I expanded it out with um, just the rest of the items we can craft getting all of them uh, a crafting spot in here at least the ones that doesn't require fluids. So um, all of that can be uh, used around the base as soon as we have the items we need to craft it. In today's episode, as promised, we will start to make our new steel column. We have an iron one up here, so I probably want to make a steel one over here since we have a nice patch. So uh, that is the plan for today's episode. So uh, do remember to leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. And uh, let's get on with the building. So uh, we want to set up a steel setup over here. Uh, to do that, we probably want to get some more in, at least the bottom part of it done. Might just dismantle that part so it doesn't get built, because um, I want to keep that clear, uh, this ore patch, and just have uh, inputs around here for what we need to do. And then we can easily expand in the future. Let's also bring the electric furnaces. Right now, one setup of iron requires 52. So if you do one of these and funnel that directly into a steel one, we should be able to do a one-to-one -one ratio. Of course, uh, <laughs> throughput wise, it's not that good yet, but when we get the uh, beacons, it will be a lot better and it should supply us for quite a while. So uh, let's go over to the area where we want to set up our um, our steel uh, area. For that, let's just request in some of these, because now we have logistic bots, so if we just keep 50 of these on me at a time, and 50 of you, that'll make sure we have that flown in, and then we should have the rest uh, as needed. Always nice having a bit on your person. Let's travel over here. Let's watch out for any trains, if any is driving. Ooh, come on, oh, no skill. And uh, get over this way. But steel is the most important thing we'll be working on at the moment. There we are, they're slowly clearing it out. Let's get you removed as well. As you're not really needed. Uh, to be honest, this entire thing we put in could actually be skipped. Because it's not... Well... Never mind, it couldn't. We had to put it in. I was an idiot for deconstructing it, so let's just place it back. The main reason is uh, we need these inside uh, places for the output. So yeah, we can skip this corner. So that is not useful. And I'll just take up more room to build it. So let's do that part. I think that'll be fine. And then we'll get robots to just uh, clear this out for us. So while that is being done, let's uh, design our base down here. Firstly, let's just remove the rest of the trees we have inside the cell. There we are, our grids. And, uh, and get it away. We can get you to do its job because look, it just goes in our trash lot because we have it set to zero. Making sure that we can actually help clear out some of these more congested areas and not clog, clog up our inventory. Actually quite a lot of uh, room you have in the trash lot, so it's, uh, it's quite important, important to do. So, the way we want to do it is, just like we have over here, with all going out into one of these. We want to do the same thing just with, um, with steel. So let's grab you. And in theory, you can just place it down right here. Yeah, where it's not in the way. So maybe something like here, and then we'll make a steel one on the other side, with it going out over here. So let's see. We don't need a ton of steel, but if we get as much steel as we're getting iron, or at least a fifth of it, I think that'll be a good place to start. Let's see, let's place... See, that one goes 
here you want to get it down to get coverage would be good so let's do that get this part away though i think that'll be fine there we are so let's just place it down this little cell And the reason why I'm not just flipping like this in just a second is because of the way um, iron and such flows in. Let's place you down. Uh, then in theory we could flip this or make the other ones go the opposite way. Then we just have to make sure that we get it the output the correct way. It might be a good idea to try it. What if, what if we do, what if we do this? As, as a test. I think that could be quite fun. And then we will uh, design this afterwards. What if we take you right here? This will be a steel side, that will be an iron side. Having it all loop around into these with a bit of a surplus, which is uh, completely fine. Um, we could also have them go directly or do direct insertion. But I think, uh, I think this will look good. So things are going to get flown in. Hopefully we have enough for what we need to get it built. So uh, by the power of magic, I'll be back in just a few seconds when this is hooked up. And um, then we'll see what we'll do from there. So be right back. So we're back in. All of the things have been built. And we just need to get the what's called the um, things down here. So let's hook up our mining area as well while uh, this is being built. Luckily, that will be quite easy to do. We'll just have the outputs going maybe over to the side here. Let's get this part of the track away to make a bit more room for ourselves. And to copy our little blueprints. We did make miners, luckily. I just want them to go out this way. So what if you start you about here? And it can't go too bad, can it? There we are. We can line up right here. Looks pretty decent. Let's get you here and there. Also, we have to get this around and back in. But that's not too shabby. Let's see here for you. And we do have one more line at the top if we want to get all of this uh, hooked up. And we kind of do. Don't have to worry about this in the future. There we are. That is pretty much our entire mining area. Everything is getting delivered from uh, in the base to set it up. And then we'll just get it into these four columns. Shift the way the belts are going to get steel output up top instead. So that means we just have to shift all of them at 180. So um, let's just quickly do that. Also means we have to switch all of the outputs to go the opposite way. That's going to be the most exciting part. Might in theory be easy just to remove all the belts from these after we make one of them work. To be honest, let's just do that while we wait. So you can remove trees, that's fine. And I want you to also remove... No. Please remove blue belts, do undergrounds and inserters from the last three ones. And we'll get it put in by the robots later. There we are. Now, good. And let's hook up the fourth one. Oh, so the way we want it to work is now things will go this way instead. We'll flip that way. Meaning that the iron plates will go up this way. And um, then we'll have what's it called all of the steel going out that way. That should be correct. Let's just flip you. Meaning that the input won't be here anymore. Input will be in this line instead, going up that way. That means the output will be the same same here. So you'll go that way. 
you can get removed here, there, and you can go this way, down this way. And go in wherever it's needed in just a minute, so pretty, pretty much everywhere around here. So that means this will be... Why does it look like this? Does that still work? Oh, the input... Oh! Oh, oh. That was ways to do it and I have thought we flipped it. That means the output will go on this one. That should be correct. Let's just test to be sure. If we have things going on this one. They will go in from, if you look at this one, the bottom and the side, will that work? So here and here, and get the power. I'm guessing this will give us some issues, maybe. Let's see. And see that's only on one side, so that won't work. That means we have to have this be the input and this one be the output. That's why I was getting uh, confused before. Yeah, so flipping all of these to be out and in initial work. Because if you look over here, instead of having it like that, then we'll have it from the left. What's it called? We'll have it from uh, going from the left in and from the top in. It means we'll move it up like this. So it'll be from there and there instead. Here and here. Get the power. Because that will be what we have here after we flip it. So as you can see, top and right. Giving this in, top and right. That will give us on both sides, just like we want. So that is perfect. I mean that it will go in here. You will flip. Let's get you out here. Let's get both of you. That should make it all work. And if I make a mistake here, guys, uh, do remember to say so. Because uh, there is a pretty big chance that I will. I know it's only clicking twice, but still, I know myself that is going out, that is going out. So that is fine. It means now we should be able to take this part, stamp it down on top of these, get it in, and have all of the throughputs correctly. Will be output that means you will be input here 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 and here there and there we are that should be our um, iron and steel setup as it stands at the moment and now the brilliant part is will this work as intended that is always uh, the most exciting thing about these. Luckily, we have most of the things going in we need. Let's see, there's the last two. And everything's being delivered. So now we just need to hook it up. One, two, three, four. We have a few more up here. So let's just merge them together. Giving us a nice balancer for the outputs. Uh, somewhere where we can actually fit it in. Because then we can go up top and we can get it out. So why don't we do it here. Do that and you can go up this way. And in. It's not overly needed, but it looks good. And you can go this way. And then this one, are these ooh, actually three up here can merge in. We'll just merge it together and maybe give you a faster one in the future. And let's take you in there. It's fine. And something like something like that. So that gives us four belts going in. Now to get it out. And we'll need one going this way. We'll go over here. We'll have you going down this way, and in there, you'll go straight across, and you'll go over here. So now it's going to be the exciting part if this actually works as soon as uh, we hook it up. It should. There we are. 
and let's see if we have enough ores to fill it. Let's see. Ooh, this is always exciting. Let's hope. Let's see. There we are. That should hopefully make iron. That should go out on this side. Means iron will come down right here. Iron plates. Go into our steel columns over here. Of course, we won't have enough to fill this much. That actually, that's actually one thing I didn't plan. We only, we'll only fill about a fifth of this. So, um, in theory, two, four. Wait, 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 wait. Why don't we do this? What if we make these two, what's it called, uh, iron production as well? We could do that. You know what? I'm going to make these two iron producers as well. As that's a better ratio than we had before. So, um, luckily, an easy way to change it. Let's just remove this part and that part right here. We will take you two away. We'll take the blueprint from here. Let's get that way just so we know how to line it up here and here. And that will give us a much, much better setup. So one, two, four, six. The two. In theory, get it ten to two. But it, this gives us a somewhat, at least a lot better ratio than we had before. So I kind of want to keep it at that. The two, four, six, eight, ten. Can we fit in that much? No, because then we don't have room for some on the side. So this is this is decent enough. Or in theory, we can do you here and then make the other one iron as well. At least we get the perfect ratio, but I don't think we need that many until we have beacons. So this this is fine for now. We can easily expand it in the future. Don't mind me talking to myself. I do that once in a while. So now we'll have four lines going down here instead. Or six lines going out into two. So we can do three and three. Should be quite nice. That'll be... One. Let's get you two disconnected for a little while. Get all of this merged together. Let's see what is a good way to do it. So we need one more space for it to go under. Let's just merge it together here. And that'll be, that'll be one, two, and three with this one. Going into the little steel right there. So one, two, three, then we'll have one, two, three here. So we can kind of go and merge together a bit better than this. As I don't think we'll need this many belts just yet. We are. Please get you two merged together. There we are. That means we can't remove you. You'll go down here, merge together as well. So we have three on this one. Going over here. Right now we just have a backlog we are slowly emptying out because this should be able to keep it up. Whilst this is backing up as well. But um, yeah, right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have three whole ones going into a... Uh, oh wait, I'm such an idiot. Isn't I? I'm an idiot. Why the finger? Oh, I didn't know. I'm not. Oh yeah, the crafting speed. I'm such an idiot. What's the correct ratio? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, I've I've had it's been a long day. It's been a long, long day. Let's just fix that silly mistake. That was my bad. Sorry guys. How oh, did just Wow, facepalm. 
If any of you commented that before me, you uh, are much, much smarter than I am. Oh, that was, that was seriously stupid. Oh well, let's hook it up. We had it nice and beautiful before. Before I completely messed it up by being uh, an idiot. <laughs> uh, once in a while they do make a brain fart. Ooh, and it just finally fits in. Luckily we know we still have enough for all of them. That's fine. Now we need to get them out. Uh, unfortunately we can't hook it up here, because we can't loop. We can hook it up right down here. Let's get ourselves a train unloading. Is it this one? No, because we need a train loading. Train loading ore. That should work on both sides, so if we just hook it up here. We should be able to get four belts going in, and that is what we're going to go with. Might only be able to fill one, but that is fine. So, you can go there. All of it should be delivered if I don't have it in my inventory. But we should be making everywhere, everything somewhere in the base. Yes, good. But we do need some... Uh, that is a lot of gear wheels. So I'll just have to go and grab a few for the loading here. We just handcraft what we need while we uh, ugh, handcrafting. It's bad. Let's do this instead. Please deliver some gear wheels to me. Just give me 200 at a time. Might actually want a bit more than that. Give me 400. That'll be good. That'll be flown in by robots. You can see them start to work over here. And then we'll hook up the steel outputs. And um, I think for now, one line will be enough for what we need. We can just get one blue line going out. Put everything merging into that. So... Let's do it like this. So we'll go here, here, and here. Then we'll merge it into, into four later to make sure it gets evenly distributed to all, um, all things. How much steel we have, that's perfect. There we are. Please do a four lane balancer. One, two, three, four. There. Let's hook this up before we do it. Remember to get all of our... Um, all of our inserters made before we do this. Luckily, look here. Look how much easier it is to craft now that we actually have things getting flown in. Wow, I'm, I'm still surprised about the massive brain fart I made over here. That was that was horrible. But uh, everything should be good now. It should be a one-to-one -one ratio. And we still need to hook up the power. Let's just get you here. We'll have to add that in at some point so we remember to have everything we need to get this to go. Uh, let's see, get the rest. I mean, I'm missing. Missing green circuits as well. Ain't that just brilliant? Give me 400, please. Can't be delivered. Seriously. Oh, it will. I was like, we have, we have the robots. We have, we have to have it. So now we can make our first steel train. You're open if steel. It's about 32, and I kind of want to limit it a small amount. If we do that, then we have 20 slots. That means 2,000 times 8, that's 16, that's 32. So it only opens if it's completely full. That might not be what we want. So we can lower this to, let's just say 16 instead. Because that's exactly two trains. 
which is uh, a bit better. Do this. I'll upgrade the blueprints in the future. Let's see, let's get. There we are. Good. So now we can activate this, get seeing it flowing in, and we can hook up our trains. We'll just need to go and pick up a few things and set the unloading station up to uh, our mole. And look at that. Looking very good. Consuming more and more power. But everything looks correct. So let's hook you up and let's see if we can actually get this to do what we want. Giving us a ton of beautiful steel. Look how beautiful it looks. Look, oh, look at that even pattern as well. Looks pretty darn good. Now we just need to figure out if this can actually uh, handle the entire throughput we have. Oh, well, it easily can. No problem whatsoever. And this should be a one to one. So uh, all of you should be running. And all of these should be running as soon as we get to a point where it uh, levels out. So let's go back to a mall. Let's set up a little train. Oh, and let's rename you to what you actually have to be. You will be steel. It's called steel plate. Steel, 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 steel. A steel plate loading. Steel plate loading, so we have that here. We'll fill our load as soon as we have 16k. So two trains completely emptying this out. Very, very good. And let's take our little car back now that we have... Oh, look at this. Look at this beauty. Just making a ton, having a ton of surplus of ore that we can use in our base at some point if needed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, we can. We can get over here and loop around and go back in. Oh, yeah, good. I was about to make sure that we could actually get in here. There's a train guy coming around here. Loop, go back and up in, then out here and out. So no problems. That's why you normally build the entire setup without the... Uh, Doing anything. Oh, and let's just get all of you away. All you stupid trees that are in the way. What? I'll blow it up with the grenades instead. What? Move. Thank you. Let's go over this way. And let's see what we have in our mall so we can get the steel in. Do we have any train or cargo wagons? No. Do we have any in storage? give me just give me four at a time or it's a nice size amount even that we have in storage luckily let's keep two trains so we can always set up two and let's keep four fluid wagons as well if you need to set that up four there we are so now just to get them to work, set up our unloading station over here for steel. So let's just set you up. Train unloading one. Bang. You. And let's get ourselves a steel train. Steel plate unloading. There we are, having two of those now as well. I do like this uh, interface looking very, very good to see what kind of trains we have. And steel is right there, with no trains going to them, as intended. We'll be open if steel is listed. 8k. We should probably change that to Something that doesn't request 
every time we place it down. So I might change the blueprint a small amount. Wouldn't be the worst thing to do. Please just give me a few of you because we can't make them yet in our mall, unfortunately. Since um, that requires red circuits which we have in just a little while. We seriously need to get the red circuits up and running, but that's fine. So what I'm missing now, a few more. Go away, let's grab this pot. Or the steel as well. Two, three, four, five, six. And there we are. So we have steel filling up over here. Of course, it's not open yet. Because steel is not the fastest thing to make in the world. But it is, it is going out nonetheless. Oh, can't reach anything from here. That's a surprise. So um, now we have that, we have the chest for the steel flowing in. Now I just need to add in the steel trains. So let's just start you here. One, two. We need to grab ourselves a bit of fuel as well to get going. Where's my car? It's over here. I couldn't figure just make them in the depot instead. Let's take our car up to the depot because then they can get refueled right away. And don't have to move anywhere then. Walks into tracks. Saying one, two. One, two, one, two. And you'll take, let's just take the blueprint from you to that one, that one. And not coal pickup. Oh, we need to rename the coal. Add steel loading. Full cargo. Move you up. Add steel unloading. Empty cargo. And take this blueprint and add it to that one. We just have an empty train waiting here doing nothing. That's quite hilarious. So um, that should be fine. You can go to the depot and you can go to the depot. And then as soon as steel opens. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Ooh. Why did I set iron plate loading on both of these? That was stupid. That could have been... <laughs> <laughs> Quite bad. Steel plate loading. Until full. Otherwise we could have had iron completely polluting our system. Loading, unloading. Much better. Let's try that again. And now this shouldn't go anywhere. Destination full. Destination full. Whew. So um, that is pretty much how I want it to be at the moment. And uh, that will enable us to get steel into uh, our base. And make all kind of goodies. Let's get you over here. Let's get the rest of you hooked up. There we are. So, um, I'll end the episode here. Um, sorry for the little blunder over here. We accidentally tried to remove a perfect ratio setup, as we had it right now. 
But luckily we caught it. No harm, no foul. We can always uh, remove this, move it further down if you want to have more throughput. But for now at least, this is looking pretty good. Already made 6k on the way to, uh, to activating this at 16. So um, as I said, I'll end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching guys. Uh, do remember to leave a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. And on that, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.